of gun violence in uh in the united states this is a story that i've just been following just because it's to me it kind of just shows one of the it's just it's a hilarious kind of thing and i say hilarious uh in the sense that this is an american thing we're like there's so many angles to this story and it really just kind of shows the rot of the entire american system so i'm obviously talking i don't know if it's obvious we're talking about the a uh, six-year-old who shot and nearly killed their teacher in uh, Newport News, Virginia. Now, again, the timeline of this one is interesting because you have like every, um, you know, imagine a brush, right? And you got like the little like bristle, right? So the story is the brush and like every bristle, <laughs> bear with me here, is like another example as to why America is garbage, right? So one, we got guns, right? Okay, guns. We have so many guns. Everyone's got a gun. I got a gun. You got a gun. That fucker down the street's got 98 guns. Everyone's got guns. There's more guns than people in this shithole, okay? So there's a lot of guns, right? So that's one. Two, you got school systems are not equipped or designed to care for people that have any form of special needs. So much that... You know, schools in general, they make fun of kids that have special needs. Oh, you have special needs? What does that mean? Oh, you're dumb. That doesn't mean that. It just means you have special needs. It just means you are a unique person. But in school, right, if you have any sort of special need, you get labeled uh, a dummy. You get labeled, uh, you get bullied, right? And also, you get sent to classes where teachers are supposed to be more equipped, but oftentimes are even less equipped to deal with your case. And then every possible special need is all lumped into one category, right? Let's say your your mind is hyperactive. You're otherwise normal. You just think really fast, right? Special needs, right? You get put into this one-size-fits-all kind of box, right? So our schools are set up Right, so that anyone that has any sort of natural deviation from the norm, uh, which to even say, is there even a norm in this instance, we're talking about kids, right, they're often neglected at school as well as at home, right? So that's part one and two, right? So we got the guns and we got the shitty fuckhole school system. Uh, part three is you got the shithole, um, you know, people that run the schools. They don't give a fuck right they were reported that this kid had a gun and they didn't do anything about it right they didn't do anything because they don't actually give a fuck about their students they don't give a fuck about their jobs they don't give a fuck about their lives right and then we had another epic moment of the story this is all just a flashback you know it's like imagine it's like a flashback scene in like fucking an anime or something where they just show you the whole episode like six weeks ago they just show it to you again that's what we're doing there um where the superintendent got fired without cause even though there's clearly a cause right i mean i mean come on now there's very clearly a cause but he got fired without cause so that he could keep his pension right like every layer of this is great but then you had the family attorney um say don't worry everybody everyone calm down you know mrs z or mrs z is in the hospital she we don't even know if she's gonna live the family's attorney says don't worry everybody the gun was secured because i know this is another thing that's very american is we have this like extra language um on top of english right we're not talking about spanish here there's another language that americans speak uh either influently or fluently um and that's legalese right so a lawyer says the gun is secured you know the gun that the kid took and shot a teacher with don't worry it was secured what does that mean well, they use that word because if the gun was secured, whatever that means, then the child, uh, the child's mother cannot uh, be held responsible. So the kid takes the secured gun. All of a sudden, the mom is fine. But we have to really be wondering here, why does this mom have a gun? Well, I mean, hey, there's lots of reasons why a single parent Presumably, this is a single parent scenario. There's lots of reasons why a single parent would want to have a gun. One of them, let's say, maybe you had a partner who's a little creepy. And they might show up randomly at your home and threaten you. You might feel the need to have a gun. Let's say you walk home uh, late at night because you work, uh, you know, in a late shift and you walk home at 3 a.m. Might be a good idea to have a gun on you. There's lots of reasons why Americans would have uh, guns on them, right? But people don't really think, oh, if I have a gun, in case, you know, let's say, 
uh, whatever scenario I described happens. Well, I also have a kid, and how do those things work together? Well, you know, people don't often think about that. So anyway, we had the family uh, attorney say that the gun was secured. Now, keep in mind, this all happened months ago. This is like five months ago, I think this happened. I want to say this happened late last year. So now, here we go. New part. The mom of the six-year-old who shot his teacher is being charged with child neglect. Now, here's the thing about this, and this is why I continue to cover the story, because it just has so many interesting wrinkles, is that in America, instead of fixing the problem, right, instead of fixing the problem before it starts, right, instead of, you know, oh, there's a crack in the roof, let's fix it before we get a leak, right? America waits for the leak and then goes, eh, we'll see if we can... We can let it sit a little longer and then the whole fucking shit caves in, right? So again, because America loves lawyers, America loves lawsuits, right? So we're going to charge this mother five months later, five months later, we're going to charge her, not immediately, right? Because somehow something needed to be investigated, I guess, for five months, who really knows? Um... Or longer. I don't. I may, maybe it was December. I don't know really when this happened. To be honest with you, um, but like instead of doing anything to prevent the next mass shooting, because keep in mind, right? Again, there's going to be another one. I mean, there was another school shooting in Tennessee, like what a week ago, two weeks ago. Who knows, right? Um, there's going to be another mass shooting. There's going to be another shooting at a school. There's going to be these instances that happen. There's going to be kids killing each other. In and outside of school, we I see these stories all the time of kids getting their parents' guns and thinking it's a toy and blowing their brains out or whatever, right? This happens all the time. So instead of doing anything to prevent the next tragedy, right, we're just going to use the system to punish, not teach any lessons, not rehabilitate, but punish the people who are already, I mean, let's be honest, this mother probably not having a good time, Right? Probably not uh, handling the situation well. Now, again, she made a mistake. She should be charged. All of that without question. But what's the point of charging someone? Right? I mean, this is not going to solve the next example of a kid killing themselves or another person or shooting someone with a gun. It's not going to solve that. Uh, the mother is not going to learn any lessons here. Let's just be honest, right? Like, just they're not. They're not going to learn any lessons. They're going to resent their kid. They're probably going to have a fucked up relationship. Who knows why uh, they're even in that situation to begin with, right? I don't know. Like, they're probably not going to learn that much from the situation. Um, so, again, we're just left here just, like, going, like, what the fuck are we doing with this country? But let's read this update here. Following an investigation by the Newport News Police Department, Deja Taylor has also been charged with a misdemeanor for recklessly leaving a loaded firearm around a child. A misdemeanor? Like, I love this country, like, where we have, like, we charge people with felonies for having, like, like, three blunts on them because they might have intent to distribute one of them. Like, no, motherfucker, it takes three to get me into the fucking green zone, okay? But, like, anyway, so, like, we'll throw felonies on people for, like, the stupidest shit in the world, but giving a gun to a kid, misdemeanor, misdemeanor. I mean, again, that's the other thing with this country that's really funny is that like the things that you think should be actually felonies, <laughs> they're not, you know, they're not. Giving your gun to a kid and then the kid shoots a teacher, I think it's a misdemeanor actually. Doesn't sound that bad. I mean, what the fuck do we even have the felony misdemeanor distinction for? I mean, Jesus Christ. But anyway, let's keep going. In January, Ab I guess it was January, I guess it wasn't last year, Jesus Christ. Abby Zwerner, a 25-year-old teacher at Rich Neck Elementary School, was shot in the hand and chest by one of her students. She spent about two weeks in the hospital and had four surgeries after the shooting. No other people have been charged in the incident, including the student. However, the superintendent of the school system was fired. The assistant principal of the school resigned and Swerner is suing the school system for $40 million, alleging they ignored warnings that the student had a weapon that day and was in a violent mood. Thank you, NPR. The safety and security, blah, blah, blah. So again, if you want to uh, talk about who has the most blame here, it would be the parent for giving the kid the gun. I don't give a shit what the fuck their reason. Oh, well, the gun. If you have a gun in your home 
and the kid is able to access it, you're giving the kid the gun. I don't care how many fucking, oh, well, they had to go into my bedside drawer and do the fucking passcode to the safe that's their birthday. Like, that's not, like, I'm, like, again, so the parent gave the kid the gun for no reason. Stupid ass bitch. Definitely shouldn't have kids. Uh, that goes without saying. But then you also have the school where these people are just like, they see kids waving guns around and they're not doing anything about it. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Right? And then we have, like, to really just indict the whole fucking goddamn American culture. Like, why, did, why are kids having guns and bringing guns to school? What are we doing here? Well, this is America. And again, nothing is going to change. Right? We're just going to sue a couple guys. Right? Keep things interesting. Right? Everyone's got to have a lawsuit. You get a lawsuit. I get a lawsuit. Everyone gets a lawsuit. But are we going to prevent any future tra tragedies? Hell no. Because that's not the business that we're in. We're into goading people into killing each other um, and to, you know, making people as high stress as possible so they're not really thinking about anything that they're doing. They never get a chance to stop and think about their actions. Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't buy a gun because I have a six-year-old, any of that, whatever, right? Then we're going to punish them, throw them in a steel fucking cage where they're not learning a thing or goddamn two about anything. You know, they're probably just, and by the way, in order to even survive in many prisons in this country, you need to join fucking, like, gangs and shit like that. You need to get even more violent. You need to, uh, you know, make uh, friendships with people that are even more violent than you have ever even dreamed of being, right? So again, so we throw people in a steel cage for a couple years that makes them even more violent. Then we throw them back out and then we try again. I mean, like, I, you know, it really is a bizarre-ass system here. And, uh, you know... Hey, really makes you think, but there you go. So, another update in the six-year-old uh, gunman story. Everyone's favorite. I mean, I don't know. I just, I enjoy this one because it's got all the layers to it, and I love layers. I love peeling the layers, you know what I mean? Anyway, there you go.